Dashboards provides the ability to create a data connection for your dashboard that loads data directly from an XML file, rather than from the embedded Excel workbook. To support this connection, you must set up a server-side process to query the data source and format the resulting XML file based on a defined structure. A sample query result can be generated from dashboards to use as a template. In this tutorial, you will set up a data connection for XML data, preview the resulting file, set up the sample file as the data source for your dashboard, and then test the connection by manually changing the XML file. Note that this tutorial was recorded using SAP Business Objects Dashboards 4.0, Build 14.0.0.760. To navigate, use the viewer controls or follow the on-screen instructions, if available. Review the data for the total sales dashboard, and then create a new XML data connection using the Data Manager. Click Data. Select Connections. Click the Add List. Select XML Data. Set up a total sales data connection to load data into the embedded spreadsheet, to replace the existing data. Click in the Name text box. Type Total Sales, and then select the Enable Load checkbox. Add a range and bind it to the appropriate cells in the spreadsheet. Click Plus. Click the button to the right of the Name text box. Select Cell C1. Click OK. Click the button to the right of the range text box. Select cell C2. Press Shift and select cell E5. Click OK. Preview the resulting XML, and save the file to act as the data source for the dashboard. Click Preview XML. Click File. Select Save As. Type Total Sales.XML, and then click Save. Click Close. Now enter the path for the file you just saved to define the file as the source for the data connection, and define the MIME type. Click in the XML Data URL text box. Type the path and file name, and then click the MIME type list. Select text slash XML. Set the connection to refresh every 10 seconds, and then save your changes. Click the Usage tab. Select the Refresh Every checkbox. Click in the Interval text box. Type 10, and then click Close. Click Save. Export the dashboard to the same location as the XML file. Click File. Click Export. Select Flash. Type Total Sales.SWF, and then click Save. Click Close. Open the dashboard and test the connection by manually editing the XML file. Double-click the Total Sales Swift file. Click Minimize. Double-click the Total Sales XML file. Double-click the last entry. Type 1 million, and then click Elsewhere to commit the change. Click File. Select Save. Note that the dashboard automatically updates based on the change to the XML file when the data is refreshed during the refresh interval. You have successfully set up a connection to a new XML definition. This is the end of the tutorial.